Hello everyone! In this video, you will learn all you need to know about math competitions from elementary school to high school and how to prepare for them. I'm Sejal. And I'm Sohil. And now let's go over a quick rundown of what we'll cover today. So first, we'll talk about the popular math competitions from elementary to high school. Then, we'll talk about how to prepare for those competitions. And you will get guidance based on your grade level for the different free online resources and books that you will find useful. The first competition I'll talk about is the AMC-8. It's run by the Mathematical Association of America. It has 25 multiple choice questions with five option choices in it. And there, you're allotted 40 minutes to solve those 25 questions, and you get an average of 1.6 minutes per question. Anyone in grade eight or lower can take it, and there's no lower grade limit, so even elementary schoolers or kindergartners can take it. I took the AMC-8 starting fourth grade. The competition date is typically mid-November, as in previous years, but it might change starting the 2021 to 2022 school year and move to February. The topics on the AMC-8 come from a typical middle school mathematics curriculum, except the problems will require some more intuition and problem-solving aspect behind them. Next, we're going to talk about the AMC-10, which is also run by the Mathematical Association of America. The AMC-10 also has 25 questions and you are given 75 minutes, or 3 minutes per question. The AMC-10 is multiple choice. For each correct answer, you are given 6 points. For no answer marked, you're given 1.5 points and a wrong answer is given 0 points. Unlike the AMC-8, it's not always best to guess because you can get points even for not marking an answer. The AMC-10 covers the high school curriculum up to 10th grade. There are two contests, the AMC-10A and the AMC-10B, and you are allowed to take both. Anyone in grade 10 or below can take the AMC-10, and there is no lower grade limit. The competition date is in February, and this is also subject to change from the next school year. Also, I just wanted to mention that even if you know nothing and you leave all the questions blank, you can still get 37.5 points on the AMC-10. The AMC-12 is similar to the AMC-10 in scoring and question format. There are similarly two contests, except the AMC-12 covers the entire high school curriculum, and it includes trigonometry and logarithms, but it does not include calculus. The AMC-12 is for students in grade 12 or below, and there is no grade limit. The competition date is the same as the AMC-10, also in February, and this is also subject to change. The AMI, or also known as the Math American Invitational Mathematics Examination, is for the top 2.5% of students from the AMC-10 and the top 5% of students from the AMC-12. The AMI has 15 questions in 180 minutes, or 12 minutes per question. Each answer is a three-digit number, from 000 to 999, inclusive. The AMI is a really hard contest with the median score being 2 to 6, even with the top competitors from the AMC 10 and 12. To qualify for the USA JMO or USA AMO, your AMI score along with your AMC 10 12 score are used. The competition date for the AMI is March. So as said in the previous slide, the top contestants from the AMI and AMCs are selected for the USAJMO or the USAMO. This is an invitation only proof-based examination and typically only a few hundred students from the whole country are actually selected to take part in this competition. It's a very prestigious achievement. So qualification is based on AMC 1012 and AMI scores. So basically you have something called a USAJMO or a USAMO index, which is basically, so you, the USAJMO index is your AMC 10 score plus 10 times your AMI score. So for example, if you got an AMC 10 score of 130 and an AMI score of 8, your USAJMO index would be 130 plus 80 or 210. And this, this competition has two days, and each day has three questions to be solved in 4.5 hours. And that is a lot of time, but that's also because the questions are very hard. Each response, you're awarded between 0 and 7 points for a maximum of 42 points. And the competition day is typically in April. Also, the top scorers are invited to participate in the Math Olympiad Summer Program. So from the Math Olympiad Summer Program, they have something called the TST-ST exams, which stands for Team Selection Test, Selection Test, which selects about 40 to 50 percent of the students at MOP to take in part in the TST group. And from the TST group, 
they conduct four team selection tests, which they then decide the IMO team, consisting of six people from U.S. and the alternates. So the IMO is a competition conducted internationally. So each of the countries sends their own six people team to participate in it. And each response, again, just like the Yusajimo Nisamo, is awarded between zero and seven points, with a maximum of 42 points. And many countries participate, so and each of the countries have their own way of selecting the, their top contestants. The EGMO, which is also known as the European Girls Math Olympiad, is another math Olympiad contest. It is a girls-only international math competition. Each team consists of four female students, and the format is similar to the IMO, where contestants are given two days, and each day they have three questions to be solved in four and a half hours, and each response is awarded between zero and seven points for a total of 42 points. Math Counts is another middle school competition. There are four rounds of math counts, and all of the tests are short answer. There's no multiple choice. The first round is sprint, where you're given 30 questions in 40 minutes, and calculators are not allowed. The next round is target, where you have four sets of two questions each. Each set of questions, you are given six minutes, and you're allowed calculators. Then you have the team round. In teams of four, you are given 10 questions with 20 minutes, and you're allowed calculators. The countdown is a last round, and it is an oral speed round and it is only for the top competitors. There are four different levels of math counts. The first is the school level. Each school can optionally conduct it within their school to decide who they send to the chapter level, where each school can send up to 10 students, including one team of four students. Next is the state level, where the top few teams from chapter and the top individuals advance. And finally, from the state level, the top four individuals from each state are sent to the national level. Also, if your school does not participate in math counts, then you can register as an NSC or a non-school competitor. So typically, some schools send math counts, people, students from their school to go participate in the math counts competition, but not all schools do it. So if your school does not do it, you can still participate in math counts. In 2020, because of the lockdowns, math counts will be conducted on the AOPS contest platform and this year, unfortunately, there will be no team and countdown rounds, but there are also going to be four practice competitions throughout the year. And this year, there are only five levels instead of four levels like there typically are. So there's a school level competition, then there's a chapter level competition, and each school can send up to 15 students to the chapter competition. Then from the chapter competition, the top 20% of the students of the chapter and the top student from each school advance to the chapter invitational round. And from the chapter invitational round, they select the top students to go to the state level. And then the top students from the state competition, they get to go to the national competition. And just like earlier, even if your school does not do math counts, you can still register as an NSC non-school competitor. Next, we're going to be talking about Math Kangaroo, which is for students in grades 1 through 12. Math Kangaroo is unlike most of the other math contests that we've talked about because it has interesting logic and puzzle-based questions that are not typical of other math contests. To register for Math Kangaroo, you can register on their website where the contest will be taking place. Math Kangaroo is a 75-minute multiple-choice test. For students in grades 1 through 4, there are 24 questions. And for students grades 5 and up, there are 30. From Math Kangaroo, 10 high school students are selected from the U.S for an all-expenses paid trip to International Math Kangaroo Camp in Poland. The camp includes top students from countries like Poland, Germany, and Lithuania. I had the opportunity to attend the camp, and it was an amazing experience. You get to go on beautiful hikes, explore Poland, and do lots of sightseeing. To maximize your chances of getting in, I suggest taking the Math Kangaroo every year. MOMS is another contest for elementary and middle schoolers. It's also known as the Math Olympiad for elementary and middle schools. Competitions are for elementary, which is for grades three through five, and middle school, which is for students grades six through eight. There are five contests, and each contest is, there is one contest every month. The first one is in November, and it goes till March. Each contest has five questions in 30 minutes. Many schools or math clubs register school teams, and anyone can register a team of 35 students for 
Prizes are give, given to the top scorers in the team based on cumulative scores of the five contests. MOMS is a fairly easy contest and it is really good for students starting out with math competitions. Also, be sure not to get this confused with the USA Math Olympiad and the USA Junior Math Olympiad. Those are completely separate contests and they are much, much harder than MOMS. Next is MathLeague.org. So MathLeague.org has competitions for elementary school, middle school, and high school. So they are covering the whole spectrum. And it's very similar to Math Counts format. And just like Math Counts, they have sprint, target, and team rounds. But for elementary school, they have an additional number sense round with 80 questions for 10 minutes. And middle school, they have a countdown round for top scores. And it's like a buzzer-based round. It's kind of like Jeopardy. And for high school, they also have really in power rounds. And the high school Math League contests are tend to be very similar to the Armalt competition, which we'll talk about later. MathLeague.org has regional contests every month from September to March. And they also have district and state championships in April. And they also have, for all levels, national championships in May and June. MathLeague.com, which is not to be confused with the previous slide, which was MathLeague.org, is also a competition for elementary, middle, and high school students. MathLeague.com has multiple choice problems for elementary and middle schoolers and short answer problems for high schoolers. MathLeague.com is also an easy contest and is good for beginners. And some schools and math clubs register. So there's also many other competitions, such as the Alpha Math Contest conducted by Alpha Star Academy. This contest is for elementary and middle schoolers and it's a math contest organized by Alpha Star Academy. And they have two rounds in the contest, a first round in January and a second round in May. Next is the RSM International Math Contest, again for elementary schools and mi middle schoolers, conducted by the Russian School of Math, and they also have two rounds. The first round is online, the second round is on site. Some more math competitions are the Noetic Learning Math Contest, which is a biannual problem solving contest for elementary and middle schoolers. This is a really easy contest and is good for beginners. Another one is Continental Math League, which is for elementary and middle school students. And there's also many other competitions, such as the Purple Comet Math Meet. And this is a team contest for middle schoolers and high school students. It's a free contest, so anyone can join. Anyone can register one or more teams of six. Also, another contest is the Exeter Math Club Competition, also known as EMCC. And this is for middle school students held annually at Phillips Exeter Academy. Some more competitions are the American Regional Mathematics League, more commonly known as ARML, which is for teams of 15 from all over the US, and the finals is held in Reno, Nevada in June. Another one is the Harvard MIT Math Tournament, also known as HMMT. HMMT has two contests. The first one is in November, which is slightly easier, and the second one is in February, and that is slightly harder. HMMT is a high school contest, but middle schoolers are also allowed to compete. Some more college run competitions are Berkeley Mini Math Tournament or Berkeley Math Tournament. Berkeley Mini Math Tournament is for middle schoolers and Berkeley Math Tournament is for high schoolers, although middle school students are allowed. Stanford Math Tournament is another high school competition, except this one only allows high schoolers to compete. Some other college run competitions are Caltech Harvey Mudd Math Competition or CHMMC. This competition is again for high school students. And there's also Princeton University Mathematic Compet Competition, also known as PUMAC. And this is also for high school students. And then some more college run competitions. Carnegie Mellon Informatics and Mathematics Competition, also known as CMIMC. And this is, they have competitions not only for math, but also computer science. And the competitions are held annually at Carnegie Mellon University. And teams of four to six participate in individual and team events. Another contest that I actually very recently participated in is called the Math Majors of America Tournament for High Schools, or MMAX, and this contest is typically conducted in Yale, Columbia, University of Florida, Michigan, and Virginia, but it's meant to be for high school students, but again, middle schoolers like me are also allowed to join. But earlier, like we've been saying for all the competitions, they're typically conducted at universities, but nowadays everything is online because of the COVID-19. So Anyone can participate in any of these competitions wherever you are, and you don't have to drive anywhere, so it's very convenient that way. Some more college-run competitions are the Duke Math Meet, or DMM, 
which is a regional mathematics competition for high school students and it's held at Duke University. And the U.S. Math Com Competition Association, which is a collaboration of U.S. college-run math competitions, and there is a USMCA national championship in May. And there are also many proof-based competitions, such as the USA MTS, which is a proof-based math competition. They have three rounds once per month. Another competition is the Bay Area Math Olympiad, also known as BAMO, and th this contest has five proof-type math questions for middle and high schoolers. And basically, they have a pool of seven questions, and the middle schoolers get the first five questions, and high schoolers get the last five questions. Another competition is the U.S. Ezrich Math Olympiad, and this competition is similar to difficulty to IMO. This competition is hard, and what's funny is that the median score in this competition is 2 out of 42. So, most many people there actually got zeros, because the competition was very hard. Now we're going to talk about some girls-only competitions. The first one is Intergirls, and this is for female and non-binary individuals for teams of 1 through 4. There are two divisions, one for middle and one for high school. It is a biannual team competition and they have cash and other prizes. We recently held a competition just last week and we gave out over $700 in cash prizes. Some more girls-only competitions are Girls Adventure in Math, also known as GAME, and this is for middle school students, and the All Girls Math Online Tournament, which is for students in grades 3 through 8. Math Prize for Girls is the biggest girls-only competition, and is an invitation-only event at MIT, which typically takes place in October. It is for the top 300 girls, and they are invited based on their scores in AMC 10 or 12. The cutoff for Math Prize for Girls is typically slightly higher than the Amy cutoff, and it is the largest Math Prize for Girls in the world, with close to 50k in prizes. The top 40 students from this competition are invited to take the Math Prize Olympiad, which is a proof-oriented contest where contestants are given four problems in four hours. There are also many other math competitions organized online, such as the Omega Learn Math Competition, which recently happened on November 7th. There are also competitions such as NSF, ABMC, and ABMC is actually holding online monthly competitions right in 2020 right now. So if you're interested, you can check that out as well. There's also TrinMac, which is another competition that typically happens. FMM NanoMath, another competition for high schoolers and middle schoolers. MPTF, a competition for only middle schoolers, and they also had a countdown round in it. HMI, another competition for middle and high schoolers. MathCon, which is a competition that typically has a first round online and a second round that typically happens in Chicago, but it's unknown what's gonna happen this year in 2020 with the COVID-19 pandemic. There's also SBMT, SVMT, EVMT, Calcunuts, Mathical, another competition for middle and high school students, which also gave away many prizes. And you can check out these links for many more math competitions. Now we're going to talk about how to prepare for math competitions. So there are many AOPS resources, such as Alchemist, Math Counts Trainer, For the Win, and Pass AMC Tests. Also, contest collections have some nice problems, but those are, those are a little bit harder contests, so you can check those out once you're at that level. Also, AOF announced a new Keep Learning thing, where basically they give you new puzzles, interesting and exciting puzzles. Also, there's AOF videos, AOF math champs, and a community AOF forums where people discuss many different math concepts and ideas. Math Counts also offers several resources. They offer school chapter and state exams for the past year, Problem of the Week, Math Counts Minis, which are videos talking about math concepts, categorized resources, where they provide a comprehensive list of resources. They have the school handbook, which offers many different questions, and Math Counts Trainer, which was previously mentioned. Next are also Omega Learn resources. And so Omega Learn also has classes. So they have classes for MOAMs, AMCA, AMCA Advanced Math Counts, or AMC Math Counts. And also, you can sign up for the AMC 1012 classes that are about to start very soon. And there are also resources on the links over here for elementary school competition math, middle school competition math, and high school competition math. And you can also check out the other links for resources for other subjects such as science, programming, physics, etc. For elementary schoolers in grades 1 through 3, some of the math competitions that they can participate in are Math Kangaroo, Noetic Learning Math Competition, North-South Foundation's Math B, 
Continental Math League, MathLeague.com, and MathLeague.org elementary contests. To prepare for these competitions, some of the great resources are BSTAR, Khan Academy, worksheets on websites such as Ed Helper and Dad's Worksheets, and books such as Singapore Math Books and Beast Academy Books, which are by AOPS. There are also workbooks available from Spectrum and other publishers, and check out the link for more information. Here are some of the Beast Academy books, which are by AOPS. They are cartoon-style books, which makes it easier for elementary schoolers to learn from. So there are also Singapore Math Books, as you can see here. Singapore Math Books has many great books for many different grade levels, and it's great for practicing for it's great for practicing for elementary schoolers. And they have the challenging word problem series, as you can see here, and they also have many other great series. So you can check out those books, and more information you can check out the Omega Learn website. Also, for elementary schools grades four to five, there are many different math competitions, as already covered, such as Math Kangaroo, Noetic, Moams, Math Leaks etc. And it, what's really funny is that there's so many different math league competitions. There's three of them. And some resources that you can use to prepare for these competitions mentioned on the previous slide are you can use BSTAR, you can use Khan Academy, although that's more focused on school math. You can also use Singapore Math Books, Moms Books, they have old contests, Beast Academy Books by AOPS, workbooks from other publishers, math league books. Also, if you're ready, Pre-Algebra by Art of Problem Solving is a great book. And Art of Problem Solving books are actually a lot harder than their respective school courses. So the pre-algebra book by AOPS is much harder than a standard pre-algebra school course. Because it not only has those standards, it also has many new ways to apply those techniques to harder problems. So if you're ready for that, it would be a great way to begin for advanced elementary schoolers. Also, another great book is Competition Math by Middle Schoolers by Art of Problem Solving. And even though it says for middle schoolers, advanced elementary schoolers will also find it useful. You can check out the link below for more information. And there are also many Moms books with past contests. And also, there are other books such as Competition Map, as already mentioned on the previous slide. And now there's also Middle School. For, so for Middle School, there are many different math competitions that we already went over on the, on the previous, in the first half of this presentation, such as Math Kangaroo, Math Leagues, Alpha Math Contest, etc., AMC 8, AMC 10, AMC 12, and AMC 2, and even yeah, even middle schoolers and elementary schools could take Amy. And then there's also resources such as Khan Academy, more for school math. And Art Problem Solving has a great collection of resources such as Alchemist, Math Counts Trainer, For the Win, and Old EMC Tests. And MathCounts.org also has some great resources. And you can check out this link for more information. Here are some of the Art of Problem Solving books. There are the Introduction series, which covers Introduction to Algebra, Introduction to Number Theory, Introduction to Counting and Probability and Introduction to Geometry is a great way to build up a foundation for competition math. They also have Competition Math for Middle School, the Pre-Algebra Book, and Volume 1, The Basics. Most of these books do have a separate solution manual, and I would recommend getting them so you can follow along with the book and read solutions to problems you might not get. These books are considered some of the best books out there for preparing for competition math, so I highly recommend them if you're starting to dive into competition math. Some other books that students can do are Challenging Problems in Middle School Math, The Three Years Math Counts Marathon, which is a slightly harder book, AMC, AMC 8 Practice Test by AlphaStar, Math Contest for grades 4, 5, and 6, and MathLeague.org books. And my math test also has some good books. They're good at great practice, except sometimes these books have typos and errors. And for books for middle schoolers, they also have Competition Math for Middle School, again, the Introduction Series, as already talked about, Volume on the Basics, Challenging Problems in Middle School Math, The Three Years Math Comes Marathon, and these books we already talked about earlier. You can check out this link for many more resources. For high school, some of the math competitions that students can participate have already been mentioned, such as Math Kangaroo, MathLeague.org Contest, also AMC 10, AMC 12, Amy and JMO, there is also ARML, USA MTS, and BAMO, HMMT, SMT, BMT, and many more. And you can check out the link for more information. And also, there are many resources for high schoolers, such as the Art of Problem Solving. You can also find past AMC tests on the AOPS wiki. And again, keep learning. They have some great puzzles that are very fun to do. 
and Enops also has videos for different subjects and competition preparations. They also hold math jams, basically free online kind of classes, not really classes, but basically it's a text-based classroom. And they also have forums, which is a great place to talk about and discuss math. And Evan Chen also has a great website for Olympiad resources. And you can also check out the Omega Learn website link for more information. And also, just like earlier, there are some other great AOS books and the Intermediate Introduction series, as we already talked about, are great for high schoolers and middle schoolers. And the Intermediate series are a little bit more advanced than the Introduction series. And those cover topics more in depth and they cover harder problems than the Introduction series. And also, make sure to get the solution manual, as some of the problems are hard and extremely challenging, and you'll definitely want to know how to solve them by their really nice and unique ways of presenting their solutions. Some more of AOPS books are Volume 1 and 2. Those are great for competition math, and I'll give you a highlight of all subjects. And there's also Pre-Calculus and Calculus. Although these aren't that useful for competition math, they do help you a lot in school math and just create a general foundation for math. And also, again, for high schoolers, just to summarize all the different resources, you have the AOPS books, Intermediate and Advanced and Introduction Series, Mathly books, and etc. And Awesome Math books also have some really good, nice books for when you're preparing for AMC contests and Olympiad contests and beyond. And you can check out the link for more info. And there's also some Math Olympiad books. And this is not MOAMs. This is like Math Olympiad as in USAMO, USACMO, IMO. And so there's some really, really nice books for Math Olympiads. One of them is ECMO, also known as Euclidean Geometry and Mathematical Olympiads, which is written by Evan Chen. And what's funny is that he wrote this book himself when he was in high school, and this book is a quite advanced book for high schoolers itself. And there are also many other books here by Awesome Math and various publishers. You can check out the link on the previous slide for more information. Some paid resources and classes are Brilliant, which offers a wide variety of courses. Daily Challenge by Potion Low, similar to Brilliant, has a lot of courses. And some of the paid classes are AOPS classes, AlphaStar classes, MathLeague.org, and many more. Thanks for listening to this presentation. Be sure to check out the website OmegaLearn.org and like and subscribe to this channel for more interesting and new information videos for math competitions and more.